Well, getting towards the uh, end of end of the year, George Dan's here driving down North Bay Lake Arrowhead, 32 freaking degrees. It's cold out. What the hell? But good news is you're alive, I'm alive, and we're going to see 2016. And you know what? This isn't going to be a year where you play, uh, well, I should, is it? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I should do that. I should save money. I should go to the gym. I should quit smoking. I should quit drinking. I should make more money. I should be nicer. I should be a better husband. I should be a better wife. I should do the things I need to do. I should get out of bed early. I should finish some of the projects I have around the house. I should be just a better person. I should be on time. You know, after a while, all you do is just should all over yourself. You should all over yourself. No. Not this year. You're not going to be a shudder. No way. You're going to be committed and dedicated. You're going to put your trust out right there in God. And, and he's going to bring you to your plan, through your plan. You are going to solidify your faith. You're not going to give up. Let up or shut up until you cure that problem. Because I'll tell you what, my friends. The size of your faith is better than the size of any problem you have in your life. And if you want to reach your goals, you remember this. Faith will not always cure your problem. Faith will get you through your problem. Faith will get you to your goal. But don't remember what, what they said in James, you know, faith without good deeds is dead. You got to work it. You got to do it. You got to love it. You got to just get it on. You got to make it happen. You got to shut up. You got to put your money where your mouth is. I'm out. Happy 2016.